What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process that we use to help James lose a total of 9 kilos, completely transforming his overall body composition. So just looking at the screen, this was him when he first started. He already had some training experience. Now the reason he opted on was he wasn't really getting the results that he was looking for and he felt a little bit stuck, a little bit confused, essentially hit a plateau, which a lot of you might be in the same position. Maybe your physique is quite similar. He struggled with a bit of fat around his midsection and I'll show you exactly exactly how we were able to get rid of that and go from this to this. Now, James initially signed up for a three month period, but because he enjoyed the process, the results, the accountability, he decided to stay on for another six months. So again, in today's video, I'm going to show you the exact process, go over his game plan and then have him join us on the call to share his experience and his initial struggles. Maybe you might be able to relate and he might be able to provide some insight and some tips to help you out of your situation. So whenever we have someone join the team, we always start with a lifestyle analysis sheet. Now this sheet is extremely important for us. It gives us a really good understanding of what you enjoy eating, what you don't enjoy eating, what equipment you have access to, how many times a week can you train your schedule? And these are some of the questions that we usually like to ask. What are you struggling with the most? What time do you plan on training? Do you currently track your diet? What's more important to you? When are your break times during work? This allows us to create very specific protocols in accordance to James lifestyle, because at the end of the day, you do have other commitments. So our goal is to make this process super easy for you. We want you to be able to include and prioritize your health, your body as a part of your lifestyle, rather than adding protocols to create more resistance, making it more difficult for you to follow. So what we do is look at the data and implement as much of his current lifestyle and current structure into the program. Essentially, you go over it, analyze it, then ask additional questions. This will give us a little bit more clarity on his preferences, his schedule, and what would be most convenient for him. From there, we then create a meal plan. And I'll give you guys a quick overview on how that looked like. Now, meal management is a very common problem that a lot of people face when they first join us. So what we do is essentially take the guesswork out of it. So first things first is we kind of map out what the next couple of weeks would look like. As you can see, we have week 29 all the way down to week 45, organizing his training phases, his nutrition phases and just a couple of key events along the journey and now this might look a little bit overwhelming for a lot of people but don't worry we do all the management here all james has to do is essentially eat and track his food now for some people they don't even need to do that if they decide to eat the same thing every single day but that can get a little bit boring so we try to implement as much flexibility and teach you how to do that so that way you don't have to be eating the same thing every single day now with james we gave him two meal plan variations just to give him again a little bit more flexibility and everything is designed specifically based on his schedule and his preferences we have whole eggs for breakfast beef mints and some rice flour and then on top of that we had some chicken breast avocado and jasmine rice with some low-fat cheese at the moment james is at an aggressive mini cut so we went from 3300 calories just to 2300 it is aggressive but because we've transitioned from a growing phase to this mini cut essentially just to clean up some body fat so we can continue to add on some muscle by being in a prolonged surplus so the whole purpose of this essentially is just for fat management these meal plans do change so when james gets bored he often call let us know we'll make the changes for him and again we taught him how to really manipulate his calories and macros we also taught him how to create his own meal plan so that way he can be a bit flexible we also do implement flexible dieting options at the weekend so that way he can stay on track and be able to stay consistent without having to miss social events and you know time with his partner so that way he can still eat out enjoy and again don't feel so restricted because that's where a lot of people go wrong they feel so guilty when they have a quote-unquote cheat meal but if it's part of the plan and you're still seeing results it completely takes the guilt away from it it's very important to create a balanced diet at the end of the day you're not a bodybuilder you have other commitments you don't want to sacrifice your quality of life now another thing james can do is is click this button. If he doesn't like capsicum, he can make changes here. And what will happen is it will automatically calculate based on the product selected. And again, we've also added some links here to make his life easier. So he can click it, which will redirect him to the exact product. That way it makes life a lot easier and he knows exactly what to eat and where to buy from. Another cool feature that we've added to make life a little bit more flexible for him is if he's missing 30 grams of carbs at the end of the day, if he clicks this drop down button, it will showcase a series of options. And if he clicks Hello Top Chocolate Brownie, so that's an ice cream, one tub is around 50 grams of carbs and 250 grams of calories. It can do the same here. So let's say we're looking for, let's just reset these digits. Let's say he's looking for 60 grams of carbs. We'll change macro type to carbohydrates. And there you go. He can have a bagel, he can have popcorn, he can have sweet potato fries. So a wide variety of options. Again, to make his life easier, he just lets us know and we'll do the changes for him. Now, once we've created the meal plan, we then transition into creating a training program specifically based around his physique. So once we analyze his initial check-in photos, we then assess where volume needs to be added and what movements should be added to his protocol. So a few things that we take into account is how many times he can go to the gym, movements he actually enjoy and movements that might be a little bit more convenient to set up. Obviously, if we have the option of, you know, you might have a little bit more time, so we'll select more optimal movements 
movements if you do have that time to set it up. And if you don't, we'll still implement optimal movements. It may not just be as optimal. So it really depends on your time availability. On top of that, he'll have access to the training library, which will showcase hundreds of videos showing him how to perform the movement correctly. So that way he's in the gym, maximizing his time and he's not just doing junk volume or increasing risk of injury. We want to be in the gym for 45 minutes to an hour. So we want to make sure every set, every rep counts. This is a screenshot of his training program, block one, phase four. Now, typically I don't like to do more than two to three sets, but this was when he very first started where his form just wasn't that great. So I tried to compensate poor form with more volume. So as we go week by week, his execution quality improves, his RPE improves. We're able to reduce training volume, spend less time in the gym and actually get more out of the program. So at that point, doing four sets isn't really necessary. It just comes down to experience and it's really important for us to understand where he's at and his training quality as well. So the next step would be establishing baselines and data analysis, right? Your body is an adaptive mechanism, so we need to make the right adjustments at the right time. We started him off at 2,678 calories before us. He was eating at around 1,700 calories. He felt absolutely terrible, wasn't really progressing and kind of hit a bit of a plateau in terms of strength and muscle gain. So what we did was bring him back up to maintenance, let his body reset, and then from there, slowly and gradually drop down his caloric intake. Eventually, we were eating at about 1,715 calories. I believe that's the lowest that we ate. And during that period, we made sure that we managed his food selection appropriately so that his mood and energy is maintained and great throughout the day. Now, as I said, data analysis and data tracking is everything. It might look a little bit confusing at first and you might think, hey, I don't even know if I can do this. It's totally normal for the first week or so for people not to be so adherent to check-ins. It's okay. That's why we're here to constantly remind you that, hey, we need this data if you want to make progress. And eventually it clicks. Now, James has been really consistent with it. As you can see, we actually have data dating all the way back from May last year, even further than that, I believe. But he's been really consistent, which gave us the information that we need to really direct him towards the right path. This is what a typical check-in looks like. It's not overwhelming. You don't have to do too much, but this gives us enough information and the right information to be able to predict what will happen, how you're feeling and what changes we need to make. So this is very important. So we look at average body weight, average calorie expenditure, step count. Now we don't need all this information, but it is preferred. And we do like to combine logistics with emotions just so that we can confirm what exactly is happening and why are things difficult? Because usually it doesn't have to be hard if you have the right protocol. So this gives us a really good idea on how his body's responding and how he's responding as well. Now you might be at point A where James started and it's not too difficult to go to point B. If you watch the training video for free that I've uploaded, you'll definitely be able to work towards point B, but there might be a couple roadblocks, primarily when it comes down to adaptations and data analysis, because that requires a fair bit of experience, but that will definitely improve your understanding when it comes to training, nutrition, some general guides to follow. And I try to keep it very simple so that it's not overcomplicated or overwhelming, but these are essentially the four core pillars that you need. A training program design specifically for you, your lifestyle and your body composition. And the same goes with nutrition. And then on top of that data analysis, and then from there, adaptation and changes. And that will help you get to where you want to be or where you want to go. If you do have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram. I'm more than happy to help. Again, you can watch our free training on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description. So definitely check that out. We're going to hop on a call with him now. So again, you can get a bit of an insight on what the process really looked like from his perspective. My name is James, obviously. Um, I'm essentially like a banker working in the bank. Found myself probably getting into the gym just after the COVID period, but obviously found myself, you know, sort of not really making that much progress and not knowing what to really do. And that's when obviously Alex reached out, offered to obviously help and sort of put me on. And initially when I went into it, I just thought like, oh yeah, maybe I'll just do this for like three months and figure out like yeah. what I need to really do. Um, obviously, cause like, you know, being fairly new to like sort of the gym and stuff i originally went into this <laughs> thinking like oh yeah let's bulk yeah as big as possible <laughs> but obviously starting off a clean slate you know cutting as much weight as possible before we even started a lean bulk you know learning that was such an insane learning experience learning that how much i was actually under eating when i was actually in the gym probably one of the biggest things with the exercise execution i felt like quality of the movement was improved a lot like I wasn't just throwing around weights, you know, I actually felt it in the target muscle group rather than like feeling all over the, all <laughs> over the body and feeling like sore. less injury prone, which felt really, really good too. So, you know, learning to just obviously like train to a point of failure and not just like, you know, three sets of 10 and just like moving on to the next move exercise. That was probably like the biggest key learning factor for me. I'd be in the gym for about a solid like hour to two hours. Yeah, wow. And yeah, you learn over time very quickly when you have like proper guidance that <laughs> there's a lot of like just wasted effort for nothing. Yeah. Um, 
Like then, you're training so hard and you're not getting anything out of it. And yeah, you're wasting exactly, so much exactly. time. On a good day, if there's like an empty gym, yes. I can probably get through my workout in 45 minutes. Yeah. But with a busy gym, like an with hour. With a busy gym, any, at, yeah. an hour at max. Yeah. That's not even that bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not even that bad. There's people speaking, there yeah. training regularly for like an hour and a half and in a busy gym, like two hours you know yeah, yeah. it's insane it, it wasn't restrictive at all yeah. um even some days where like i felt super hungry or anything i'd even split meals up to like f having five meals a day instead yeah. of four originally like when before i even trained with you i was only having three meals wow. used to train faster and everything so yeah. looking at it now it's like yeah training <laughs> faster as opposed to training with actually food in your stomach it's just like okay i actually have energy to actually get through the gym yeah. you know everything feels way better when you're actually got enough like food calories in your body that yeah. you can actually function that's probably the biggest one would you say before you joined me when you were eating 1800 calories yourself how was your energy levels then about average but yeah. at the same time like i had sort of plateaued in a lot of like my, my weight loss i was not as hungry i will say that for sure we obviously like took into perspective like oh yeah like volume of food and stuff so eating way more volume yeah. but eating like the same amount of calories was super helpful. You feel full throughout the day and you're not going to feel absolute crap. Previously, I did not have it because I was eating like barely any carbs, yeah. you know, it was all like proteins and all fats. The typical diet that everybody follows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the typical diet that pretty much everyone follows. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just like no carbs whatsoever. Just cut them all out. Essentially just eat proteins and fats. And yeah. then you just have no energy whatsoever. Pretty much had rice like every two meals out of like the four. So it was easy that I could get through stuff like yeah. that. I didn't feel like too restrictive in that sense. Where, like, oh yeah, like I can't eat pasta and stuff like that. But I still did have pasta and still have meals that I enjoyed. So it wasn't like the bodybuilder diet where it's just like chicken, broccoli and rice. Yeah. So, you know, I actually could enjoy meals that I would have preferred. Even if on days where I was just like, look, Alex, like I can't eat this anymore. Like I'm going to fucking lose my mind if I keep <laughs> eating this. You were obviously there to obviously work it work it out with me. And obviously yeah. we can figure out like what I really wanted to eat and then yeah. we worked around that. I definitely had way more cheat days than I expected to even have. Like yeah. I had days where I literally just like not tracked meals for like weeks on end where I was just like, okay, I'll have my regular meals throughout the, the, the week. And then on the weekends, they basically got on track for maybe like five weeks straight and I was still losing weight. Friends now are asking me for advice and stuff. It's just like, hey, look, I have a coach who is willing to put in the work yeah. and I can give you his details if you want. Or alternatively, you can just join, join come along with me on, the, on this journey <laughs> and we'll consider how far you take you. It's been unreal in that sense. That's great, But dude. for sure, I will say the biggest thing for me is the confidence. Yeah, I'm glad. Building actually like healthy habits, you know? Mm. Like I'm not just going to go out there and just like binge eat. I'm not going to punish myself just because like I had one cheat meal. Because yeah. I know for sure back then, maybe I'll have one cheat meal. I'd punish myself and just be like, okay, one hour on the elliptical and whatnot. Oh, and that kind yeah. of stuff, like you feel way more confident in that yeah. like okay I, I can have this cheat meal i'm not gonna feel guilty yeah. you know as long as i can just like switch back on and just like focus on like my training my diet there is absolutely nothing wrong with me just having this cheat meal that's awesome man like it's been a pleasure working with you and guiding you throughout your journey and if you ever need anything you're still in the discord group so you can feel free to always message us if that's it man thank you for your time do you have any questions any last messages not really i just say i just want to you know thank you for the past like nine months it's been unreal for sure nice. i've seen so much change in my dieting and like my, my body composition as well and training and everything like it's been so helpful and i've i've definitely learned so much in the nine, last nine months it's been a pleasure and it's been great to work with you you've been so consistent and just you know following protocols so that is a lot of work from your end too yeah dude i'll speak to you soon any questions message the discord i'll speak to you sometime soon man yeah right, take care, james thanks brother bye, bye.